Only on 10, a disabled man has been bedridden for four days, four days because a piece of equipment he needs broke. When his insurance company, state services, and the makers of the equipment failed to help, his family reached out to NBC10. Susie Steimel is digging deeper for answers tonight. We have done everything to keep him home and happy, and they just, we just hit roadblocks every time I make a phone call. It's difficult for Beth Dennis to talk about what her son Bobby, with muscular dystrophy, has gone through this week. On Saturday, Bobby's electric lift that helps him get in and out of bed broke, leaving him bedridden, so Bobby couldn't use the bathroom for four full days. I had enough that he has muscular dystrophy, because I know he's going to die someday, but when he can't get the equipment that he needs, it makes it worse. It started Saturday with multiple phone calls, first to her insurance, then to the Lyft company, then to Bobby's caseworker with the Executive Office of Human Services. No one called her back until Monday morning. A temporary lift wasn't put in place until Tuesday afternoon. No answers um, past the buck. It was just horrible to watch him sit there in the bed and not be able to go to the bathroom. It didn't always used to be this way. When Bobby was enrolled in the Katie Beckett program, the Dennis's never had issues. Um, then when he became an adult, it seemed like uh, that side of the that side of the services um, left. It's as much credit to the Katie Beckett program as it is concern for adults aging out of it. The dentists say it isn't even about money; it's about communication. The lack of which is tearing their family apart. The emotional pain that my wife suffers impacts this family every day now, um, and it's been mostly since Bobby's turned into an adult. I have been in contact with the Executive Office of Human Services. They say this could just be an issue of the family reaching out to the wrong people for help. Since our story aired earlier today, they vowed to connect with the Dennis's to clear up this communication issue. Susie Steimel, NBC 10 News.